welcome. I'd like to introduce you to Kim Olson. She is running for secretary on our national board, and Kim is currently our Region 5 representative. Kim, Kim Olson, welcome. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you for running for office. And if you could just tell me a little bit about yourself and why you chose to do this. I'd love to. Well, as you said, my name is Kim Olson. I'm the executive director of Cornerstone Career Learning Center, which happens to be in South Dakota. Um, I've been with Cornerstone since 1994 as the director, an instructor, and an, uh, an education coordinator during that time. I kind of have somewhat unique experience in adult education because I'm a native to adult education. I came into the field right out of college, not by a plan or an education or anything like that, but I believe by fate. I love adult education. It's my passion. Um, I, one of the things I always say is I hold the esteemed record for being the longest continually active board member of the State Association for South Dakota. Um, and, and I'm proud of that. I really enjoy being part of that board and helping to make change and bring, uh, maybe address the needs of our adult educators. I consider myself a professional adult educator, which um, considering most people come into the field sideways and from all different directions, um, can sometimes be interesting on how we identify ourselves as that. But I really do feel I'm a professional in the adult education field and have over 20 years of experience to prove that. I'm a certified manager of program improvement, and I currently work with our state adult education board to meet the professional development needs of our state. So I coordinate their professional development and we just kicked off a statewide distance education program that I'm coordinating for the state. So I'm very excited about those projects. But in addition to that, I am also probably one of my greatest honors has been being the COA Region 5 rep the last three years. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I chose to run for the COA board three years ago after I realized that I was very busy in adult education, but I wasn't really filling my own professional needs. I knew that I needed to challenge myself to learn more and step outside of the box or my comfort zone. I wanted to have the opportunity to do more, to change the look of adult education, and really to find a better way to support our dedicated adult education teachers. Um, that has not always been as strong as it could be. And I feel like COAB is a great way to make that happen. And after three years, I feel it's time for me to push my comfort zone again and run for the secretary of COAB board. Wonderful. And Kim, if you're elected as secretary, what do you plan to bring to that office that might be perhaps a little different than what you were doing as regional rep? Or maybe it's just expounding on what you did as regional rep and expanding that. Sure. Um, I think what I've seen happen, especially in the last year since we've um, uh, really worked on our mission statement on COABE and our goals, and what I've seen happen and now realize is more important than ever is advocacy. So I really feel like I need to help focus on the advocacy efforts as well as coordination of professional development. I've been frustrated for a long time that um, how the field of adult education is viewed. And isn't so much that it isn't that it's viewed badly, it's that it's not viewed at all, that people don't see it as a viable field and, and don't understand how important it is to um, our entire country. It's, you know, and, and we've heard a lot of rhetoric in, over the last year about um, making America great and all those other things. And, but I feel um, we in adult education have been have been working very hard to help individuals in the communities we serve for a very long time. And we need to make sure that our field is seen as a professional field. So I think that that's really important. Um, I think the advocacy to make that happen is important, but I also think the professional development is important. Um, the COA uh, executive board started a professional development committee recently, and I uh, agreed to chair that. We've come up with what I, with what I think are some great uh, avenues to increase professional development in our field and legitimize the field even more than it already is. And I want to be able to continue to work on that. I've, I've enjoyed it a lot and I really feel there's some great next steps happening there. Wonderful. Thank you. And if you could also, Kim, just give us a few reasons why you feel uh, members in the field should vote for you. Well, if you haven't guessed already, I am passionate about adult education. I truly do love it. 
Um, I've tried to be very dedicated to the COA board the last three years, serving on as many uh, committees and activities as I possibly can. Uh, that I think is really important because a lot of times when, when you come into it, something new, like it takes the first year to even figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing in the field of adult education or in co and with the adult field of adult education. And then you just get your feet under you and it feels like, yeah, I'm really getting this. And now it's like, what? I got to run again. It's already time. Um, but I feel like that it's co secretary is the next best step for me and to pushing those, those um, boundaries, like I said, again, and I think I bring a lot of, of things to the table in the area of professional development, partnership building, and maybe a unique perspective in the fact that I have a community-based organization. In South Dakota, we don't have community colleges. And in many of the areas that I serve, we don't have any post-secondary educational uh, options at all to partner with. And so how do you make that, how do you make adult education happen when you don't have all of what many people consider the primary partners in adult education. So I think that gives me a unique perspective on the whole, um, or that I could bring a unique perspective from there, from the co board. Wonderful. Well, Kim Olson, thank you so much for taking time with us today. And everybody, we will meet you at the conference where Kim will see you face-to-face. -face oh, yeah. And she'll be able to share a little bit more with you then as well. So thank you.